Yeah, hi. I'm going to show you how to play the A seventh chord on your piano or keyboard. Uh, first, let's locate the root note, the note A. Play this with your first finger. Next note we'll need is C sharp. Play this with your second finger. Next note we'll need is the note E. Play this with your third finger. And the last note we'll need, actually the seventh of the chord, is the note G. Play this with your fifth finger. Okay, there you have it. The A seventh chord. Now, because the A seventh chord is in fact a four note chord, you can also have what's known as four inversions of the chord. This inversion is called the root inversion or root note inversion because you have the root note at the bottom. To make the first inversion of the chord, simply move the bottom note, the note A, all the way to the top of the chord, like this. Move your hand. So, this is the A seventh chord first inversion. To make the next inversion, again move the bottom note of the chord, the C sharp, all the way to the top. Move your hand. This is the A seventh chord second inversion. To do the next inversion, again move the bottom note of the chord, this time E, all the way to the top. Move your hand. So this is the A seventh chord third inversion. Now you'll notice if we make one more inversion, moving the bottom note of the chord, this time G, all the way to the top, move our hand, you will in fact be back at the root inversion of the chord, only one octave higher than from where we started, right? And of course you can go the other way on the keyboard downwards, if we start with this root inversion, now move the top note of the chord to the bottom of the chord, move your hand. So this is the third inversion of the chord. To do one more, again move the top note of the chord to the bottom, move your hand. This is the second inversion of the A seventh chord. To do the next inversion, again move the top note, this time C sharp, to the bottom of the chord, move your hand. This is the A seventh chord, uh, what is it? First inversion, right? <laughs> Sorry. And to do the last one, again move the top note of the chord, this time A, to the bottom of the chord. And you'll be back home at the root inversion. Let's do this one more time, a bit faster. Root inversion. First inversion. Second inversion. third inversion and back at root inversion and go on the other way starting with this root inversion top note to the bottom third inversion top note to the bottom second inversion top note to the bottom first inversion top note to the bottom root inversion Okay, now finally I'm going to show you another way of doing inversions with this uh, four note, note chord. Instead of playing all four notes with my right hand, I'm going to be playing the root note with my left hand, like this, and I'm going to change my fingering a bit here to make it easier to play. So, as you can see this is still the root inversion of the A7 chord. But this time instead of inverting all four notes, I'm only going to be inverting or make inversions with the top three notes of the chord. And I'm going to keep this root note as it is down here. So, to make an inversion, this time again I'll move the bottom note of the chord, the C sharp, to the top, move my hand, and play the root note down here. Like that. To make the next inversion, again move the bottom note of the chord to the top, move your hand, Play the root note, and let's do one more. Move the bottom note to the top, move your hand, play the root note. And now you're back at the root inversion of the chord, only I'm playing the root note an octave, octave lower, right? Now let's go the other way, downwards on the piano. The root inversion, now move the top note of the chord to the bottom, move your hand. Play the root note. Yes. One more. 
top note to the bottom, move your hand, root note, and the last one, top note to the bottom, move your hand, play the root note. Right? Now to play these uh, inversions, simply do like this. seventh chord. Uh, before you leave me, please remember to like this video if you liked this piano lesson. I'm sure you did, right? And subscribe to my channel to get more free piano lessons from me. Okay, do it now. Help me out. See you around. So, I hope you enjoyed this free piano lesson. Do you want more free piano chord stuff? How about a free piano chord chart? or a free chord inversion crash course or a free chord symbols chart. Simply go to pianochordscharts.net and download your free stuff. Click the link below and I'll see you over there. Please like this video to keep our videos free for future visitors. Thank you.